Oh, because I think it'd be fun. Or like me and you, you know, during an Oregon Duck football game or UFC fights, couple of the main event fights. Yes, I that's think what I'm hilarious. saying. That would be great. And well, just, th well, that in turn. That's what we need. That's what we need to build in. It's steps. It's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> No, I was going to say, no, in terms of like the fights or games, I'm into that. That, that's something easy. By the way, Discord, I watch games in Discord with my friends all the fucking time. Discord works for that. And for two, the games and the fights, yeah, that's easy to do on the computer. But I'm saying game playing in terms of being able to get both screens and side by side like Jack and I did. to get, We have it all synced together using Astros for the great audio and shit like that, which you don't have to do. That's why I was just asking what you're going to do. But yeah, we have a lot of plans, yeah. Trist. Okay, well, a lot of plans for you this. Know, the thing the sleep thing easy is, trist a future is yeah. a, a future's born sleep easy yeah. um <laughs> <laughs> what what do you got i see something's on Grab your mind another beer, you're gonna need it it's a bush latte i was gonna say you watch you watch some of the people i listen to some of the best podcasts i listen to they just they the podcast you listen to. Let's get that. Let's get that clear first. Rogan, Bill Maher, Bill Maher's just starting out with it. They just I, what I love about it is they'll just talk about anything. The spontaneity. I and love I think, that too. I love it. I, I think that needs to be a big part of it. It's just you know that's kind of how I, ours was last week. I agree with probably it. Probably the week before. I agree with it. I agree. It's with just it. what's the topic of the week? Yeah, you know what? What do we feel like chatting about? Obviously, it's harder when you're talking with the same person. That's why we need to build in some. Adapt or die. Guest appearances. Adapt or die. <laughs> you seen the deleted scene in Moneyball? The deleted scene where he goes, he he knocks on Philip Seymour Hoffman's. He's tucking in his jersey, his athletic jersey and <laughs> pants. <laughs> yeah, goes in. You knocked. Yeah, <laughs> grab it, sits down. I hope you see it as a sign of respect. And Philip Seymour Hoffman standing there. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> The best, bro. Oh, I can't believe fuck, it make the final man. cut. It's so great. Well, you, you, um, speaking of before we were talking about um, UFC 300, we're getting some good fights here. Okay. Well, in six months. Yeah, I'm just saying, looking at some good fights. What, what, what are you, what are we looking at? What do you think's finalized? Well, I could, I could pull the whole card. Well, Cheeto Vera versus O'Malley is, is finalized, isn't it? That's a 299. That's a 299. Is it really? Yeah. They well, haven't announced any UFC 300 fights. Or excuse me, 299. I got the numbers mixed up. Fuck. Well, UFC 300 is going to be a gigantic one. That's probably what Connor. I meant, I meant, I meant, I I thought it was already 299. I thought it was 300 for O'Malley's. I thought it was. So. <laughs> you remember? You probably weren't paying that much attention to the UFC back during the <laughs> back during the early Connor days. But I don't know if you remember what happened with UFC 200. But his and Nate's. Are we recording, by the way? Or are we? Not? Yeah, we are. So. Oh. Straighten up. Um, <laughs> but his, his and Nate's rematch was supposed to be at UFC 200 and Connor blew off a press conference and so Dana like canceled it off the UFC 200 card because Connor already at that point was the biggest star in the UFC he should have been on UFC 200 that was always the plan for him to fight and so then Connor Connor comes back or whatever they do like an early press conference and it's still before UFC 200 and and Connor's like, he's got his sunglasses on, he's just chewing his gum. And they're, are you upset you're taking off the UFC 200 card? Um, no. Uh, um, no, I watched that interview. <laughs> and he's like, and then they're like, well, I can't remember if, I think Jose Aldo had, his opponent had dropped out and he was going to fight Frankie maybe for the interim. Frankie Alvarez? Feather, no, Frankie Edgar for the uh, featherweight interim belt or something i might have to go back and they're like before frankie was though was they were talking about doing a you know aldo rematch because he's still coming off the you know aldo was just six months prior you know before the nate loss it was he knocked out aldo and connor's like sitting up there at the press conference and he's like i'm here and i'm in shape all they gotta do is ask <laughs> it's so awesome oh, but fuck. it was so stupid then he fights nate at ufc 202 you know but in, in retrospect, trilogy was great, dude. I really in retrospect, trilogy. they didn't have a trilogy. Nate Diaz and um, Connor. You think they fought three times? They fought twice. What are you talking about? I'm actually embarrassed for you right now. No, I didn't say three. I'm saying they fought more. I loved their re I loved their fights. I'm just you saying. Speak, I'm speaking plural. You said their trilogy. I you still... said their trilogy. This is your problem. Admit this is your problem. That. No, Admit I no. It doesn't matter. I'm just it saying, okay, matter, next just... time I'll say, 
plural. They're pl I love their plural fights, not just one plural. I'm just saying, who didn't? Who, it's a classic. Who did? Who didn't love it? Yeah, well, especially the second one. I mean, the first one it was fun while it lasted, but you know, the second one. I am. <laughs> we'll um, see you. <laughs> guest appearance. Um, the second one, though, in grant in. The grand scheme of things, that deserved its own card outside of UFC 200 because that was such a gigantic rematch, you know, and it made UFC 202 just an instant classic. And UFC 200 was classic. We had Brock Lesnar coming back and fighting. Anderson Silva and DC fought. It was just the... Do you see, do you see DC took Jose a, Aldo? Uh, Alex Pereira was just fucking around with him. On, I saw I saw it today. His cap. Yeah, he's, he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Do I hope Pereira wins? Are you oh, watching? Oh fuck! Am I watching? Yeah, I watch as much as I can. As long as I'm around. If I'm not around, even if I'm somewhere else, I'm watching on Stream East. <laughs> Stream, Stream East. East just it lets. I don't. Which one do you use? Because it lets me down at the worst times. I mean, I, yeah, I, lost I the think fifth round of the Usman Edwards because rematch. I, there's a reason it does it when the main card comes on. It's because everyone's trying to scramble and find something at the same time. Um, but. I mean, Stream East is just, they're really doing stuff different over there. And here's the thing. Their fucking loophole is genius because you, it can't even be detected because you click on it and it's a fucking pop-up. It's this pop-up spam window and they have to do it like three times. So like anything that's trying to auto-detect like someone that's trying to stream it, it's like, it'll is just that go. Is that why I get that block yes, first that, time? Yes, because you can't, it's illegal. You can't do that. But it's like you, when you click it, it's like a loophole. It takes yeah. you to a pop-up spam page. Have you not used Stream East? No, I, I it makes plenty. complete sense. If you stream it on fucking but, Twitch, you're getting banned, you're getting in trouble, you're getting taken down. You stream it on YouTube, same same thing. If you're just straight streaming yeah. it, and the, but you they use that, and then there's a pop up window that blow. It's like spam, and then it does it like three or four times, and so you know how like it it freezes or stuff buffering. You have to exit and then go back and then exit out of the pop ups really quick. It does that because it don't, it won't take you right to the fight because they get taken down. I see. So I mean, if you how they the haven't gotten caught yet though is, like, is crazy. How they haven't gotten caught is yet. Is there crazy. any is there any fix to not have it buffer? Like, do you need to load it earlier and leave it on? No, or, I don't you think know, so. I, I nothing. Think, you just I, I you're think screwed if it happens. I, I think well, you just have to keep relaunching it because it's all the traffic. I think it's everyone trying to use it once, and it that there's a reason why you're watching the the, pre, the prelims <laughs> and it's just smooth as butter and there's no problems. It's because yeah. not as many people are tuning in, and then once the main car comes on, everyone's like, oh fuck, 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 I gotta watch this, I gotta watch this, and so everyone's right. fucking tuning in, and it's but that just... that happens with the actual UFC cards too. You go try to buy on ESPN Plus. And all of a sudden it'll oh really out. like on the actual pay per view oh yeah you try to go buy an eighty dollars you know you'll spend eighty dollars oh right before say say Connor's fighting oh god last fight I want to see it and bring, all of a sudden you'll run into all sorts of issues and 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 Dana's even open about it he's like you got to buy the card days before <clears throat> Dana, so I'm like, That's wait annoying. what does it have like, to do with wait, buying it, buying it days before what does it have to do with buying it the day of what, what it like it? loads up it loads up it like preloads the fight I mean, it's stupid it's what? embarrassing I, I've I've had issues That's pausing it. To go pee and then come back and I like click and it's kicked me out of the ESPN Plus app. Like it's just so annoying, bro. Yeah. Like it's 2023. It's Figure got, it out. Well, they're putting Should their money. They're putting their money elsewhere, not in their cybersecurity and their software. I'll tell you that. Well, it's goofy. Yeah. Um, but uh, did you did you watch the Francis speaking of streamies? Because that's what I yeah I watched watch it. The Francis yeah. Francis Tyson wins that. Curry. Francis wins that. Not to it mention knocked him on his ass. Not. Dude, Francis was looked a great. Fight. Francis looked Oh, he looked, he looked unbelievable. Like, if, you, if you didn't know, if you didn't know his MMA background, you'd think he was. And I think they said this at some point during the, the fight, the broadcast. But they were like, if you didn't know he was a MMA champ, you'd think he was just the next challenger, you know, coming up the ranks. You know, he he looked and moved like a boxer. He didn't look clunky. Furies who looked clunky. Dude, he knew. You know what, um, dude? I I think it was, dude. After he took a few shots, especially when he got knocked down. I think he was like okay. I think he was a lot more hesitant. He was a lot more hesitant the whole time. He he was very more hesitant he than knew. he was before. Well, so what happened was, yeah, I don't know how well you know boxing. I'm no expert on boxing, but oh, I, you, I know you're, big, you're, but... you usually know most. You usually know way more. Not what I was trying to say, dipshit. Um, that's what and... you that's what you put off. So what happened though is Francis is, has he was so good. So he's kind of running that Philly shell, but he had that quick Alex Pereira hook. That left hook, that especially for his left. size, he's so quick for his size. And when Fury comes in, that's how he got knocked on his ass was taking that lead hook to the temple. Yeah. And so after that, suddenly Fury didn't want to throw his right, 
you know, and just wanted to, and if he, anytime he moved in, he just wanted to clinch, you know, he didn't want to throw and extend himself out because th that left hook was coming across right back at his temple. And, but Aim. it was a good fight, honestly. <laughs> huh? You sound like Connor. Um, um, oh, no, yeah, but it was, that. dude, it was, I, I think Francis got robbed. Not to mention, I don't know if you. I don't well, know. Obviously, I don't know if you. I don't know if yeah. you. I don't know if you've you, you've seen such things, but the whole time from when his ass hit the ground, Fury was given like twenty seconds. Go back and watch. I know it wasn't 20, twenty seconds. It wasn't it was ten, bro. It it's was so obviously lame. they needed him to win. They couldn't have the whole game flipped on its head. They couldn't have him fucking lose their their baby, their pay per view star. They couldn't let him w to Francis, who's. Well, a new they cut down. That's not gonna happen. They've got that huge fight with Usyk or Usyk coming up to unify the belts. This is the yeah. first time they're gonna have the belts unified in 20 years, bro. Lennox Lewis, who knocked out Mike Tyson, like they haven't. That's how long it's been since they've. That's what's so annoying about boxing, bro. All the different promotions and belts, and it's like they're finally gonna come together and unify the heavyweight division to have like a true, you know, and then. Oh, he takes this joke fight with an MMA fighter. Boom. You know, gets beat. And he did get beat. Dude. He was I, beat. Francis just looked. And I think we all knew Francis was going to look good. I think it was. Dude, t Fury was on his heels. He, really he looked like he, he looked, looked like he had. I, I knew he was going to look good. I just. Against Tyson Fury. Okay, we all know Fury. He's very skilled. He's fucking unbelievable. He yeah. really is. Especially watching him single-handedly just devour Deontay Wilder. Who no, no one thought was possible, <laughs> by the way. I'm just, I He's just, just built like an absolute oh, super yeah, soldier. Yeah, but I mean, dude, Francis, once he started throwing the punches, and he just, dude, just the way he moved, like, you know, when you watch a UFC guy or someone who's not a boxer, you could just usually tell by the method, you could tell by how it looks, you oh, yeah. tell by the technique, it's just, oh, it looks a little off. Like, even watching Connor well, and Floyd, it just looked, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, it looked very, it looked very off, it didn't look natural. Francis just was fucking in the pocket. Dude, he looked fucking good, man. Was, he won Connor that shit. A, he won that shit. Connor didn't have it. Connor didn't have a, a true boxing stance, you know. No, he kind no. of stayed wide, you know, MMA style. And he was, and, he was kind of, he he, he had that stance out. as if he's fighting in, in, a, in an MMA fight. He didn't really right. he, his hands are down. He's like like in his gloves. He's kind of right. now. Yeah. He's he definitely yeah, even though Connor has a boxing background, he didn't look as just like natural as Francis did. No, he didn't. Francis but, was so uh, composed too. He was so composed. So the craziest part of the fight wasn't to me, wasn't even the knockdown. Cause I'm like, okay, he got hit, boom. That's what that's one thing I love about boxing, bro, is is someone gets knocked down, the crowd is just all of a sudden yeah, just that's... on their feet. Like it's just such a crazy moment yeah. and it stops, you know, for the ten what's well, supposed to be ten seconds. But like MMA you're getting jumped on and maybe the fight's over, you know, or whatever it goes to the ground. But I love those, like those knockdowns in boxing. Yeah, it's just it, so exciting. Like the wilder ones, you know, like Fury yes. got put on his ass against yeah. wilder in the yeah. trilogy fight, you know, and it's just, it's crazy. Just everyone. Oh, yeah. You know, I like that a lot more than MMA action. because I like that yes. a lot more than MMA because I feel I mean, like also you can never do that in MMA, but also if you're going to such fights and spending all this money, I feel like there's a very good chance or there's like a 50, 50 chance. You don't really get your money's worth. Because there's like a ten, right. ten, but in boxing, it's like, dude, like this is gonna go for a while. Even if someone gets knocked out, it's gonna take a little bit. Like it's not gonna right. happen. It doesn't really happen in the first round because people MMA are uh, pacing themselves. Caught. They're also pacing themselves for the full fight. So if it happens, it happens. But in MMA, it's like you get knocked down. Oh, the ref's gonna pull him off. That's that's up. Or he's he's got him pinned. Now he's gonna be wrestling for the next two minutes. Doesn't matter. Right. Exactly. Yeah. They, it doesn't have that same like oh like everyone rise to their yeah. feet you know and stop and see if he gets up. Yeah. Um. That for some reason just makes like that is one thing I love about boxing, is just you know that that moment when when fighters get knocked down and just everything pauses and the ref starts counting. Yeah. And um, I just find it. But then, it, but then so it, when fun. it resets too, because I mean, you don't get that. It's like he's on the ground and it's like oh. This guy's got oh oh my god last round he's just gonna, oh he gets him on the ground okay well he, now he's just gonna keep him and there now they're not that's moving. that yeah that's game over because he's just gonna he's just gonna keep him there unless he can get up and do something he's right fucking hug legs. he's done yeah so, those Russian dudes are really good at that dude once they're ahead they just fucking hug him and throw him on the ground yeah the hug leggers I call them yeah um but no totally agree I'm curious to see what Francis does next because obviously he can make so much money in boxing compared yeah, to and he signed that deal with the PFL. You know that wannabe, wannabe UFC. So I don't know though. How do you get back into MMA when you just realize that you're a pretty good boxer? I mean, I would say 
for the love of it, I would suppose. Like first love, like this is my sport kind of thing. He just loves fighting. That and too, but yeah. Fighting yeah. can. Well, he's can what? Box. He's what? Thirty-seven. I know he's actually pretty old. That's he's weird. getting. He's getting up there. Um. He looked twenty-five in there. I'll tell you what. He looked <laughs> fucking good. Yeah, he did look good. Um. I can't remember what I was just gonna say to you. So you watched the Francis fight. I oh, did. This is what I started to say earlier. So the craziest part of the fight to me wasn't the knockdown. That's where I got on my talk track about the knockdown. Was like round it was the second to last round, I think, or maybe round eight. How many rounds did they go? Ten? Ten. That was also stupid. It should have been twelve. Sorry, it's a huge fight. Twelve rounds. Minimum. I'd I'd prefer to go back to fifteen. <laughs> like, like the old days, dude. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Fifteen rounds. Well, you know, it wasn't Ollie and Liston fucking fifteen? Like those fights Probably. were all like, yeah, those were all like, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure they all shit. were. Yeah, yeah, George Foreman and um, I'd have to confirm that, but I think they were 15. They certainly were in the Rocky Balboa movies. He knocked yeah. out Ivan Drago in round 15 <laughs> <laughs> at the horn. Um, uh, but uh, like it was like round eight, I think. But he he had he had Fury on the ropes. He was he, he was dude, the scorecard. I thought he was about to. I thought he was about to, to die. Out dude, have there. you seen the scorecard, bro? And, it's and it'll, it'll infuriate you. It'll infuriate you. It, it was like round eight. You remember what I'm talking about? Like towards the end, all of a sudden he like Fury was like hands down, just like stumbling. No, after that round, I'm like, okay, he won. Holy shit! Unless something crazy happens, he's gonna fucking win this because he had a knockdown. Also, I'm like, uh, there's Which no is way an he, automatic ten eight. Yeah, there's no way he. Okay, I'm like, there's no way he loses this because I'm I'm watching the fight. Fury's. He he landed some good counters. He landed this and that, but he it was not it, it was obvious. Oh, really? I'm like, okay, yeah, he's he's gonna fucking. He's you know gonna, what the you know what the real tell is too. Seeing I don't know if you saw the interviews, but Francis looks. I mean, he wasn't even cracked. You know, looks fine. He even took an elbow from Fury. You yeah, an illegal elbow, elbow, by the way. Yeah, it's, yeah. dude, it was a full wound. Bleeding. Wasn't bleeding, and then Tyson Fury does an interview, and he's got bro. It looks like he got hit with a baseball bat to his eye. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he, he just did. Looks, he looked he like looked he got like thrown. Like, he looked he got thrown from a vehicle's windshield and didn't have a seatbelt on. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. It, and it's just it's crazy, dude. Yeah, talk yeah, to me of significant strikes. Compare their faces. Tell me about significant strikes. Fuck sakes. Fury's jabs are not significant strikes. Yeah. No. Um. But it was not fun. to mention after like, watching it, it was pretty quick to realize. I'm like, I don't think Fury's gonna fucking put him on his ass. I don't think he has the ability no. to. No, no. Unless no. he tied his hands behind his back and let him fucking wail on him for five seconds, I don't think he was gonna. No way. Yeah, I always think the agreements there should be. I think Khabib had this because at one point they're talking, oh, Khabib and Floyd in a boxing match when Khabib was running the Khabib? UFC. No. And no. and Khabib was like eleven rounds box, one round MMA, and I think that should be the gold standard rule, bro. You do one round of mixed martial arts. It can be anywhere, but you have three minutes. Of MMA rules, and then the rest is boxing. That should no one would ever rule. agree to that, though. No one would ever agree to that. Why not? That'd because be what the fuck? What, what? They wouldn't do that because of the things that can happen to them. For one, I mean, you got three it, minutes. They, you, got, they, you better make it count. And they you got get very injured. That... They get very injured because they're boxing. You're focusing I on one one wouldn't. thing, but they would never do that. It'd be hilarious. It'd be sick, though. Dante Wilder. Dante Wilder is talking about he's going to fight in the UFC. Supposedly. Yeah. I, I, I saw he that. He goes, you get me in those four ounce gloves, and <laughs> which that would be dangerous, be dangerous. But then once he gets on the, once he gets fucking catches some leg kicks. Eh. Yeah, but bro, Alex Pereira, you know, well, I mean, he's a kickboxer, so he can at least deal with the leg kick aspect of it. But he doesn't have great ground game, you know, and he's yeah. fighting for the he's fighting for the two hundred five belt come Saturday. Yeah, but then you got you got to worry about um, wrestling, you got to worry about grappling, you got to worry about leg kicks. Which, by the way, that that's that's a set of legs I haven't seen many kicks play. in his lifetime. Yeah, so I, I mean. Unless, unless I mean, Wilder was to just hit him hard learn. as fuck. I mean, yeah, you can learn, but like, I think after fighting so much, you get used to certain amounts of pain and certain amounts of positions and certain amounts of strikes that you're not going to get used to if you've just been boxing. It's like it's same thing with the Paul sisters. Jake Paul, I think Jake Paul could fight in an MMA fight if he if he wanted to. He can crack, um, dude. He can crack. Well, was he? He was, he was supposed, he was supposed to fight. He was supposed to fight because he could fight. He was on supposed the to fight. He was supposed to fight Nate, dude. It was on. I don't know. If I know. Well, yeah. Like I'm no, I'm saying and MMA. That would get ugly. That would get ugly. Dude, Nate's a dog in there, dude. Because Nate would get him He's on the ground dog. and do things Just that you elbows, wouldn't think elbows, is possible elbows, to a body. Elbows, dude. Yeah, and then not to mention know, Nate has off. a rock chin, by the way. Not to mention. Well, I think he does. He does. Somewhat. He, 
Yeah, he got cracked he's, in he's the a brawler. Jake Paul fight. Yeah, but he didn't get knocked um, out, which was never going to happen. He's got yeah. cracked many times, and he's fine. Yeah, <laughs> he just keep coming at you with his eyeball. Yeah, his out. whole his whole um, fucking persona is getting cracked and then flipping him off. I think That's it was like... the Leon. I think it was the Leon Edwards fight that Nate was like, his head was just bleeding out, and Joe Rogan on the bot on the broadcast was like, he looks like he took a machete to the head. You know, yeah, yeah. Just, hey, just, dude, I feel like he blood. likes it. I feel, when he's all bloodied up, I feel like he loves it. He, loves bro, it. he likes getting fights nasty, bro. So that's the. Leon Edwards was an interesting one because you remember, I don't know if you watched that, but he had, remember when he had Leon sleepwalking in round no, five with a minute to go in the fight and Nate points at him rather than charging him. And, and I love Leon when he Edwards does the point, like, dude. I love when he does the, he does the point. And oh Nate points God. at him like, I got you. And then he kind of starts kind of trying in, but, and then Leon recovers and he won like 50, 40 or 49, 46 on all the scorecards. But it was annoying because then Leon goes and wins the 170 pound belt against Usman. Well, that was his next he, fight. He had to knock him out to win that, and he did, which was fucking nuts. He did the same thing that Leon did to, or that he did to Leon, because like he lost, you know, four rounds or whatever, and yeah, then he comes it out. It was, it was identical. They had the side by side, I think, on ESPN at one point. They did the side by side. Yeah, it was, it was pretty insane, but. I wish Nate would just come back to the UFC now. Like, well, he's getting older on, now. Man. He's kind of. He, well, yeah, but Connor's getting older. You, hey, have you seen pictures of Connor, bro? Yeah. All of a sudden, he looks ten years younger. Yeah, he lost a lot of weight. I don't know. It's getting done. Jess, you know, talking with Jess, he might be off the steroid cycle. And oh yeah, of course he is. Yeah, because there's there, there's nothing against you can fucking well for Connor's so rich. Unlike the other people, he doesn't have to keep fighting. So you can do shit on all that time off if you want. You just can't have it in your system by the time you get tested. So he could fuck... Well, no, it was the whole thing. Because yeah. he, he, he dropped out of the testing pool with USADA and then obviously been juicing, you know, for and then the, his and leg. Then, oh, and, and then the new company they have, if you, it's fucking the CEO is Conor McGregor. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. I promise you it's not. I'm not going to waste people's time. It's not. Okay. And you you fell for some some. I but, think I, I think it might be correct. But it's just crazy that even six months ago, you know how like when he lets his beard kind of get raggedy on the neck and he kind of looks pudgy in the face. And well, he's swelling up. He's, you can tell there's he's done right. something. He just he, he just tell. swells up. And now you see pictures of him, bro, and he's training, and his hair's all long, you know, and he's got the beard all trimmed, and he he literally looks like a like a war like he could fight for the belt tomorrow now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so I'm like, God, if he could somehow come back, dude. If he could, just... some, but the thing is, like, it's 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 the comeback in itself has kind of looked like, okay, well, his best days are behind. I just really need him to pull it off, dude. I I just I just need I just need. I know it's like I, there's just nothing. When he did that to Cerrone after the dude, Khabib uh, fight, that and, was you know, the probably fake retirements. Yeah, I I truly I was so in, happy, in, the, in the way he did it, how fast he did it. I was like, "Oh my god!" Not to mention him, he Kevin peppered him with. Hadn't fuck. fallen off the map at that point yet. No, that's, no, no, no. Was, he's still. He's still what? He, right he has to, he started to. He's also not a, 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 he's not, soon. He's not a slouch. Doesn't Cowboy have no. one of the most one of the fighters with the most UFC wins in history? Yeah, something like yeah, that. I yeah. mean, he certainly went on a tailspin after the Conor loss, but he was still. He was still. A, he was. He was a dog. A good though. fighter. I Absolutely. mean, he had a war with yeah Absolutely. Tony Ferguson at some point. And, I mean, and so when Connor came out and he's doing the shoulder strikes and that I didn't even know were legal and, and just coming out in 40 seconds, blitzing Cerrone, I was like, oh, dude, book the Khabib rematch. Book it. This is. I think and then COVID, to. COVID kind of screwed up everything. That's what sucks. Yeah, I agree. Like Connor wanted didn't. to fight a bunch that year. He probably would have fought Masvidal for the BMF belt yeah. at 170. That would have been a spectacle. That would have been something. You know, um, he's probably fighting Gaethje at some point that year. I mean, just that would have been a great fight, Gaethje and him. The, and then him coming back and losing to Dustin just. That's I know. Stuck. That I mean, second uh, one, not the leg. leg I know. I, I, I'm agree. About the I, I agree. I agree. I mean, I got. I got to give credit though. Like over the years, like Dustin Poirier has gotten unbelievably good. Oh yeah, he's like, oh he's one of the best for I mean, sure. He's so good. It's just that was such a. Uh, that one was so unfortunate. It was. It like, was. It was. He just had no answer for the. Cat and by leg. the way, the one he snaps his, leg, so his leg. just. He dies. had that one. By the way. He had that. Maybe. I think he did. Hundred percent. 
He was wail- he he was look he was absolutely turning the tides before he snapped his leg. He was 100. percent He was getting mauled before the leg snap. Remember? I mean, he was on his back because he tried to jump for the game. Oh yeah, but I'm saying, in, especially in specifically in that round, he was landing some big shots and was looking. Yeah. He was looking good. And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, he's, the second he's got one, this. Really, got this. Though. The second one, he second was one, really, teeing yeah. Off on yeah, him. he was teeing off on him. And I mean, some shots at any other fighter other than Dustin, because Dustin's outside of him getting head kicked by Gaethje into oblivion. Like he's oh, got a pretty good shot. Yeah. yeah, he does. And he's eating Connor shots, you know, lefts and and then calf kick just <laughs> took his leg out of the game, and yeah. all of a sudden, you know, he knocks out like Connor. A mi- like, a mi- like a mini Silva injury, dude. Yeah, it was so frustrating. Yeah. Because um, it feels like the last two. You won't be any games. Hi, so baby. Crazy. <laughs> the wee night, baby. There was no lakey. Give me back. I'm gonna chat you later on. Fucking hilarious. I can't believe that was two and a half years ago, bro. He's almost gonna be out of the game three years. I remember thinking a year. No, oh, it's not. It's not. Like Connor's not gonna fight for a year, bro. Like that sucks. Yeah, absolutely. a year, and now it's going to be almost three by the time he walks back in, and that's what sucks because fighters, bro, he's he's going to be thirty five almost by the time he yeah. s- sets up. You well, the thing is, especially with that support, you have to you have to keep striking while the iron's hot. When I say the iron's hot, I mean your age. Like as much as you can be a athletic specimen and keep going, yeah. it's like that, especially in UFC, bro. Especially because the body just takes so much damage. Like you're not gonna you're right. not gonna heal as easy, and then those people that they get older and they're like, okay, well I still got it, I still got it, but you're you're at a disadvantage because you're really not healed correctly, and you're not going to be as well as you were ten years ago. So it's like you have to fucking keep going. You can't just fucking take those hiatuses well, and think you're still gonna dominate. What, what worries me too is someone like Connor that <clears throat> he's always had a pretty good chin. I mean, he's eating shots from yeah, Nate, think, yeah. you know, yeah. and especially in the Nate rematch, you know, and surviving that, and then you know, obviously eating shots from Khabib, you know, at some, at certain points. And then both Dustin fights, well, mainly the first Dustin fight, but, um, you know, which he ended up getting knocked out. But the second fight, so like, he's always had a good chin, but I'm like, when you take three years off at 35, what worries me is, because no amount of sparring can prepare you for a yeah, real for like, MMA rocked, fight. Yeah. And so I feel like during the Nate era, you know, and o- Jose Aldo and fight as active as he was, and he's always been like, that, you know, said that, like, I need to be active, 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 yeah. you know, because I feel like that's the only true practice for your chin. Especially that, and, yeah. And not to mention the body shots and the leg kicks, blah, 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 whatever. Right. It's, I just worry that, like, he steps back in to – you know, against Michael Chandler, who is no slouch. No slouch and, at all. you know, takes just the wrong right hand, you know, and just he's, his, his chin's just not in shape. Yeah. I know that sounds funny, but his chin, and he's just like all of a sudden out cold. Well, not, you know, not, not, like, not to mention he's just in that like battle scarred, ready to fight mode. And he's been, he's on a string of fights. He's already kind of, he's already kind of been. Now, it's just like when he takes these breaks, regardless of how good you are, you still have to get settled back into a groove. You still have to get back, settled back right. into a, you know, and it's just, that's, is, is taking like a, a shot that he hasn't taken in, in years and get right. wobbled by it. He's like, oh, fuck, I forgot how that fucking felt. And not being able to bounce back the same way he did when he fought fucking that, multiple times in a row. So it's. And that's what worries me is just not, not having it because he said that. Like, so when he lost to Dustin, he, uh, he said all his sparring and that's the thing. Like you just, you have to train. It's, it's such a weird training because you want, you don't want to over train, you know, your defense and your blocking because you might take an injury before the fight. Obviously you're trying to stay healthy. So it's like, you you wear all these, you you wear these shields, you know, like on your legs and stuff. So you're kicking, you You know, the the, catcher's gear, shin guards. guards. Yeah. Yeah. The shin guards. But then Connor said before the second Dustin fight that he, you know, used the shin guards, but then his calf wasn't in shape to eat the shot yeah, from Dustin. Yeah. So for the third, for the trilogy Dustin fight where he broke his leg, he said, do away with the shin guards. I want my calf to feel, you know, the leg kicks all through camp. Yeah. And that's probably what started his leg break. You know, I mean, there's, there's was, a good possibility there. I mean, well, I think he said it. I mean, did he actually so, get? I mean, is well, is there was a way, there's a way for fracture. doctors to be able to, to tell? Did he have a hairline fracture before? I think so because I I, I think you got to watch that Netflix special, McGregor forever. Is McGregor that's what I was, that's what I was thinking because I remember watching it. I was gonna say he's had problems with that before. 
Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just yeah tragedy. Absolutely. But we'll see. You think the you think you think our Ducks pull it off this weekend or what? I hate that SC's coming off a loss. They have nothing to lose anymore. God, I hope playoffs so. are I out. Mean, Caleb Williams is still playing. I mean, I'm still sour from Washington game. So, um, I yeah. that's just I just I I think they do. I'm hoping they do. I mean, it's just it's hopefully oh, God 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 please help it not come down to fucking field goals, please. God God, when I came on I came out of there on skate. <laughs> Yeah, I can't manage on skates. He's like yelling as he's traveling twelve Irish whiskey. And any one of these mouthy fools can get it. Even that little fool at the desk, all them. All I'm gonna do. It does not matter. I'm back and I'm ready. That was the best post fight. That's so good, bro. I'm fucking hilarious, dude. Um, but ducks, yeah. I just I'm I'm nervous. It's like a night game. I think it's the Pac-12 at night. I'm not even sure if it'll be on. Well, I guess the Pac-12 night games usually are on TV, right? Usually, but but I mean I'm not sure. We'll see. I just it's that's 9:30 my time. It's starting. Oh, you're good. Um, you're good. Yeah. You're good. You're resilient. <laughs> resilient. Yeah, absolutely. So, have you have you talked much to? Oatmeal body auto as he has he made any effort trying to restart this absolutely podcast not. Absolutely that he not. is embarrassingly departed from absolutely not well i think both of them i think well at least brandon they should be embarrassed at least i think brandon understands and is completely okay with it yeah yeah i did but whatever like he doesn't fucking sit there and try to deny it like jesse because jesse's like oh big tough guy he's not gonna he's not gonna say when he's wrong because it's <laughs> his ego's in the way but <laughs> Um, no, Brandon hasn't reached out once, but the thing is, he's fully aware of that. Like, he's not, like, sitting there going to be like, oh, I haven't, you know, like, I actually haven't bailed that much. It's your guys' fault. That's what Jesse does. It's your guys' fault. Oh, whatever. But Brandon, he's, he hasn't reached out, but, like, he's fully understood. He's like, yeah, it's kind of like a fucking thing. Which I much prefer, rather than fucking sitting here telling me you didn't bail, but. Him and his girlfriend are obviously just in, like, all day, every day mode. Yeah, they're in the honeymoon phase. They're what? Probably in the honeymoon phase, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 For sure. And it's yeah, it's embarrassing. It's, it's embarrassing because the, the roster was there. The roster was there. The opportunity was there. And I think honestly, at this point, if we would keep it, would, it would just be getting better and better and better. But you know, that's how it goes. Only the, the strong survive, funny. Chris. And that's the thing. We're just you know we turn to the fat. We ride up the <laughs> ride up the meat and uh, you know and we and we burn the fat. We're all about it, man. That's what we did because you know we set out to do something. We're gonna do it. So, yeah. And it's one so. thing if, if 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 things get busy, you know, and that's that's to be expected. Which Jack and I it, it, we've encountered many of times. You know, we were at a certain time. It's like, hey, if we're super exhausted, we don't want to just force it out there. So let's just not do this one. But for like a hundred weeks straight, we did one every fucking week without fault. Every single fucking week. Impressive. How long are they? At one point, they were over an hour, and then now it's usually around 35 to 45 minutes, usually. It's Sometimes crazy 50, that Rogan but... can do them for, like, three and a half hours with someone he just meets the day of. Yeah, but that's – I think that's that's even that better for him, though, because it's – especially when it's something you're interested in, like a physicist or something, and you're asking 100 questions, like – and you're just meeting someone. Because if it's just – if it's just me – if we have a guest, it's always longer than that. It's always, like, an hour or something. But if it's just me and Jack, we've gone to it. I haven't been a guest. That's weird. When do you ask? Anyway, continue. Anyways, I was going to say, but if it's someone that you're just meeting and you have so much to find out about them, that that time just goes by way faster versus it's fucking me and Jack. We've done hundreds of these things. We just sit down and have a set. It's more of what, hopefully we don't run out of stuff to fucking talk about or can't think of something. So in most of the episodes, we just fucking freeball it. We don't even plan it. We just, we just fucking get a couple bullet points and call it good. Bullet points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I got you. I, I'm with you. Um, so. well, you said you got stuff to do tonight. We're, we're probably over time. You said you wanted to keep it short and sweet. I yeah, we're at, anything uh, else you wanted to cover? Um, oh, I guess like we always do, we probably should do power rankings for the games or predictions. Excuse me. Power. I, I meant we can do predictions for the bigger games. You want to do like we did last week with, uh, like the Miami chiefs kind of thing, which, oh, I, which by the way, 
You did not wake up for that, by the way. Watch the highlights after, but I knew you wouldn't. I, mean, I, yeah, I knew it, D. You would never you do such a smoke. thing. No, but it's you because were I smoke. No, I, I didn't even set an alarm. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I want to sleep in. Nothing wrong with that. It's a fucking Sunday, dude. That's what it's for. I'm also playing um, Jesse this fucking week. He texts me. When he's, he's like, you ready to get the fucking work this week? I'm like, <laughs> fuck you, dude. Fuck you. I, I, I had the most points last week, dude. Anything's possible. I'm, on a wild, I, I'm, a, I'm notorious for making wild card runs. And I, 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 I need to be near perfect. I've needed to be near perfect. I'm on two in a row now. And I'm on Jesse. So I'm, I'm very well on my way to a wild card chase. That seemed way out of reach, considering all the injuries and the, and the, pla the plagues of injuries that I've had and having to swap multiple weeks. I think I had an entire bench other than the kicker and Dak multiple times. So I, 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 I think you're missing the playoffs, bro. That's your, that's your thinking. I don't think that way. <laughs> no. It's... It's hey, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm going to have this recorded, so if I do, you're going to look foolish. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, hey, four, five, I'm four, I'm four. I don't I'm, expect you to find I'm it. not even that far back, dude. And it's week 10? I'm saying if I, which I have, if I get it all figured out and, we say, and we start winning something, I could easily get in playoffs. Can we say something real quick? Let me say something, Z. Yeah, I'd love that. Can it we talk about CJ Stroud, what he is pulling off in Houston? Dude, that guy it's is unbelievable. special. They're it's four and four. Man, dude, they're fucking good. Dude, CJ Stroud is raw. He's absolutely raw. He's got 14 touchdowns and one pick on the year. Yeah, Josh Allen could fucking never. Oh, no. He's... Fucking Allen's got digs, dude. Fuck. We got, oh, dude, 12 p.m. Oh, dude, we've got Niners at Jacksonville Sunday. Thursday Niners coming off shit. a bye. God, who would have thought after last year, Bengals would be two and seven? Bengals are not two and seven. Oh, the bear. Oh no. Oh, that was the Bears. Fuck my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, am I tripping? No, but Jamar Chase is hurt. So yeah, of course he's my. Hey, of course. I'm like, receiver. oh my, oh, I'm like, this is perfect. Higgins, perfect. And now he's questionable. I'm like, oh please God, no. Yeah, they're both. Please fucking God. They're both milking it. Please um, fucking God. Niners, Jacksonville. I've got my eyeballs tuned on that. And Browns dude, and Ravens. I... Ravens are looking tough. Dude, the Ravens defense is raw. There's some good games this week. Yeah. Who do you who do you got Browns and Ravens? Well, I got Ravens there, but um, I think Ravens win that. Forty Niners and Jags. Roll. I think that's gonna be an interesting game. Now, Dude, do I, really I think Jacksonville's do gonna I, win? But Niners do, losing. Do I four think in that Jacksonville's running? I think Jackson Jacksonville's running game is gonna be abysmal because San Francisco is their line is fucking nasty. No, nah, you can run the ball. On. No. Uh, I don't think they're gonna have the success they have. I don't. Goal. I don't think they're gonna have the success they have in the in the previous. I mean, ETN had, what, like, 47 points, 30 points, 28 points, 40 points. Like, he was just going fucking ape shit. I don't think he's going to have one of those. Well, they're not going to do that, but I, I think Jacksonville could win that. We'll see. I've got can. my eyeballs tuned on we that got Lion, well, Lions. The, Lions, the Lions Niners by three. Eesh. Chargers have not think... been looking their best. Oh, they picked up a dub, though, the other well, we night, but they've got the Lions coming into town. I think well, Chargers win that. I well, think me, 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 well, me and the Jets are in a similar position. We're on a wild card chase here. Jets are 4-4 four four playing the Raiders. I got Jets on that. Nah, bro. Raiders I have got... new breath of life after they fired the coach. A, I don't give a fuck. Josh McDaniels, he's out yeah. like Trout. Yeah, I saw um, that. <laughs> <laughs> Browns, Ravens, that's interesting. Bills and Broncos. Saints, Saints Vikings. Vikings. If Josh Dobbs can pull off another... Dude, that would be sick. Miraculous. Dude, that'd be sick. They're at home. They're at home. Dude, and, and, um, Jefferson is... He, he, is Je so Jefferson's weird. been practicing. Is he, is he, oh, is he I think he's going to play. Yeah, I was going to say... They, All of a sudden, Dobbs just starts lighting it dude, up. Dude, I was about to say, he has him Justin running all over the field. Jay Jets? Dude, I'm telling you, I think something crazy might happen. That's crazy. <laughs> Colts and my Patriots in Germany. You're going to wake up for that, Z, at 5, 5.30 a.m. your time. Most think, definitely Maybe 6.30. Are you, I'm not waking up for the Patriots versus Colts. Well, that's your fault. No. What are you? No. Oh. Um. <laughs> if they were, if they were, if, if they if they were seven and two, you probably would. Oh yeah. But this season's already we're flushing it like a fresh yeah, turd. Yeah, it's already. So let's call curtains on that, huh? <laughs> Belichick's getting the getting the boot after this season, probably. I'm gonna cry, but it happens. Um, yeah, I think it is. Well, I mean, Mike calling sick to work. I think it's in his best interest. I think he's done more than he can do in the future. So it's like, let just just call it there, man. Just call it there. He could have he kept this relevant. That's, that's a start. I mean, yeah, that's didn't, true. But didn't do it. 
Didn't I mean, I think, honestly, in my opinion, what did it was the two worst blowouts in his career back-to-back weeks. I think after that, it was already curtains, to be honest. Yeah, you can't you can't have back to back weeks and lose by combining the most you've ever points. yeah the most you've ever lost it's, it's it's that's just especially when like they were both at home or no one was at Jerry World no yeah but then at home to the Saints Derek Carr you can't have Derek Carr who then who then the next week on. just got fucked and didn't do anything like it's just like yeah because yeah. he's not a good quarterback I mean, he's just not I just no sorry Devontae Adams no, he was never good he wasn't good at Fresno State either um, I don't think he's bad but. Curtains. Curtains. Yeah, start the bus. I say Belichick. Roll Tide. Fuck him. Um, all right, well, we're at 40. <laughs> so. All right, man. Another successful episode. episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get the clips. Get the clips. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, thank you guys for listening. This is Around the Playbook. We'll see you next week, and see you.